everyone. So I finally got my October box from Art Atelier, um, based in China. Um, it's kind of hit or miss in terms of the shipping because it's not Art, Art Atelier's fault. It's, you know, China shipping. This got held up at the um, airport in Shanghai for quite a while. And then it got to the US and then it still took a bit to get to me. I actually received this today. So I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it on um, on camera. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So these are the stamps that are included in the box. Um, <clears throat> I like that she always does that so that you know what you're getting. Okay, that's the theme for this box. All right, so let's see what we got here. Right. So we'll start with the washi. Um, <clears throat> this is a pretty big roll from what she or you know she usually sends. Sorry, this is late night and um, <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just not pronouncing very well. Okay, so this is this the theme of the box is um, Shakespeare. Okay, so the washi itself is also um actually these are two i see now usually she has these um individually packed but she had them wrapped together this time okay so here's the first one it's always a skinny washi let's see if i can get the focus to work on this yeah there you go Okay, and then there's always a big washi, so we've got, let's see, let me pull this apart, there's some foiling on it, my hands are dry because I just washed the dishes, so I should have put some lotion on prior to this video. Oh. I don't know if this is going to come off very well. As you can see, oop, it's already broken up. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that's odd, <laughs> the way that the, okay. So, uh, I guess I could do it this way, but hold on, let me get it to focus first. So you can see it's really really nice and here's the other side so it's a it's a type of washi that it's already got um, a backing that you need to peel off I guess yeah you can see it right there okay so there's always a stamp included in the box every month and so let's see what this month's stamp looks like and I like that they're always around the same size so it makes storing them easy Okay, so it's a script. Oops, hold on. Just get this to focus. Okay. And then I've got an envelope here of they look like they're um like ephemera cards. <clears throat> ah, Henry the Eighth. Okay. Yeah, these are all Shakespeare related. Othello. Okay. Here are the stamps. And then another envelope full of ephemera. Oh my, this is a lot. So we're gonna put the box to the side here and I'm going to carefully pull them out. So we've got some tags. Here, let me just zoom in. Okay. There's like some leaves there, a lot of vellum, okay. 
more Shakespeare ephemera. Here's uh, some more labels. A lot of vellum. Here is the November book plate, so to say. Some small um, ads and sheet music. A tag. An envelope. Some various sheets. This is like textured paper. Yes. A postcard. Beautiful. Okay. I wonder what artist that is. Oh, look at that. A letter. more letters. And then more labels in the sort. So lots of ephemera to use. That's what I love about her box. She always gives you a ton. So you're getting, you're definitely getting your money's worth considering that shipping is included and it's basically like I mean you're getting a tracking number too so all right let's see what's in the next envelope looks like there are more labels um small stuff. I'm going to pull the big ones out first. So oh, this is interesting. This is like sticky paper. And then there's some, some sheets. I don't, that's not sticky. And a lot of little ephemera. There's some clear, some vellum. Um, there we go. Acorns. <laughs> I was just thinking because at work, I park my car under a tree and there's always acorns falling on it. Especially, yeah, this time of the year now. So, and then when I'm backing out of my car, I'm constantly crushing acorns. So, a lot. We have a lot of um, pine cones on our driveway because we have a pine tree at the end of the driveway. And it my dad's always having to sweep off those pine cones. And it just makes me laugh when I see pine cones for sale in the stores because we have so many on our property. I love these. Look at that. A lot of thin strips here. Ooh. And these are sticky too. These are beautiful. I love it. Okay. So, so no. Okay, that's all in there. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. So it looks like the last part are these various um, large sheets. They look like they're pages from a book. Um, probably Shakespeare's um, sonnets or his plays. Yes, here's some sonnets on very um, thin paper. And then she always includes some natural paper that I believe she's making herself. This is amazing. Look at that texture. And there's like gold, I don't know how to describe, fibers, you know, in that. It's a very thick piece. Yeah. So some scripts and then pages from a book. 
which are really, really nice. These are good for junk journals. And that's it. That's all of the October box from our Atelier. I'm looking forward to the next box for November. Um, I know that she's doing, she has a December box, but I don't believe it's going to be Christmas related. So, which is good. Cause you know, we already have, I already have tons of Christmas. I don't need more of that. So yeah, I'm really happy to finally get this box. I've been watching the tracking for it. Um, and especially when it got stuck in Miami, Miami, I was just like, what is going on? Why is it taking so long? Okay. So I have a couple more hauls to film and I'll post them up. All right. Thank you. See you.